Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a taste test of the Smash Bro, the Sad Bro uh, Smash Beer. Uh, so I only kicked it uh, three days ago, um, but was real keen to show it to you. Um, so yeah, I've already poured it up. And there it is. Really happy with uh, that color. So um, just to recap, so Smash Be uh, Sabro hops, obviously, um, and the grain was 100% Vienna, and that's uh, attributed to that lovely, um, nice sort of burnt orange color, beautiful color. Hopefully you can get a bit of light through it. So yeah, very, very happy with that color. Um, so yeah, it's only been carving up for, it had it sort of, sitting around 20 psi to try and carve it up as quickly as I can but um, it's already holding a, a beautiful um, head there on the top uh, nice I don't know if you can see that slightly creamy head um, so yeah very happy with the appearance on that um, been a while since I've used um, or oh, done a smash beer with Vienna malt and it's uh, it's a malt that I've always um, like to use in a smash um, um, firstly hard to beat a color like that from a single malt um, what else can I tell you so yeah uh, first time using Sabro hops they've only recently become available um, to myself uh, from Haraki homebrew um, so yeah I did a, another small liter seven liter batch um, used a hundred grams of Sabro 50% or 50 grams of flame out um, did like a whirlpool slash hop stand and then the other 50 grams I did like uh, ended up being a four day dry hop uh, started at 105.2 finished at 10.12 uh, USO5 and uh, yeah let's not dilly dally around we'll, we'll get a nose on it thanks for watching guys Now the characteristics of this, um, supposedly things like citrus, tangerine, coconut, mint has been sort of bandied around as well. But what I'm really getting on the nose at the moment, it's just come out of the fridge, is... Oh, actually, I was going to say a very slight whiff of mint, but um, predominantly... A nice sort of citrus aroma and a touch of um, sweetness from the Vienna so it smells fantastic so uh, yeah let's dive in um, now clarity wise I should explain that using the, um, the hot water urn for the small batches um, I can't get a good cold break I can't get my work chiller in there so I think that's attributing to this the haziness and the in the beer it may clear up in the keg but we'll see but we'll dive in cheers guys oh it's nice that's nice um so yeah um 5.25 percent um now it's getting citrus on the nose, but now I'm getting more um, like they describe tangerine, and I'm yeah I'm definitely getting big mouthfuls of tangerine. Um, getting a nice creamy sort of um, sort of taste as well, which I think is also um, characteristic of the Sabro. Now the coconut that they talk about, I've heard from a few people the coconut sort of can develop later on. I'm not really getting any coconut at the moment, to be honest. Maybe hints of it, but it's it's pretty subtle. Uh, but yeah, there is a nice creaminess there, and I'm I do get a touch of of mint right at the at the right at the back end, right at the finish. Very subtle, which is good because I didn't want it to sort of taste like had in my mind like spearmint or something like that so yes yeah, not, nothing nothing like that just a slight subtle sort of 
mint sort of um, back end or freshness just to finish finish it off or finish the mouthful off which is really nice but yeah hoping that coconut may come through as the beer develops so like I say it's only three days old so maybe I'll try and hang on to the beer and the keg and not drink it too quickly and give it a maybe another week before I um, try it again and maybe do a quick follow-up video just to tell you whether that coconut is starting to come through but at this stage yeah not really any coconut the the citrus tangerine is sort of the dominant flavor at the moment um, but I am also picking up a nice subtle sweetness from the Vienna malt which is really nice um, just to go with the hops um, I could have used a lighter uh, malt base but I thought I'd just try and get a bit more character uh, from the malt without going too crazy just to go with those hops um, but yeah really really nice really happy with that um, got a nice level of bitterness probably in that around that 35 IBU range uh, that was all from the Whirlpool um, holding a nice ring good lacing as well I'd put that down probably to the Vienna again so yeah if you're looking at doing a smash um, and you've never used Vienna as, as your malt um, definitely give it a crack I really enjoy using it it's a very drinkable beer in its own right um, so very happy I'm getting a bit more mint on the back end now um, and that sort of creamy creaminess from the Sabro so yeah that's that's me guys and that's the Sabro smash the smash bro thank you for watching um, like I said earlier uh, if the coconut starts to develop I will do a follow-up quick video for that um, but until then, um, enjoy the rest of your day and keep on drinking good beer. Thanks for watching. Over and out.